Happy National Quilting Day. I'm Becky Glasby, Director of Education here at the National Quilt Museum in Paducah, Kentucky. Today we'll hear from museum CEO Frank Bennett and Quilt Alliance Executive Director Amy Milne on ways to celebrate all day long. Hi, I'm Frank Bennett, CEO of the National Quilt Museum. Welcome to National Quilting Day. We are so excited. This is one of our favorite events all year long because this is the day that people around the world celebrate the art of quilting. This is also the National Quilt Museum's 30th anniversary. The National Quilt Museum was started by Bill and Mary the Trader in 1991. The museum's mission is to bring the work of today's quilters to new audiences around the world. We're focused on three main areas. First, we hope that quilts will continue to be exhibited in a growing number of places around the world. For our efforts, we exhibit quilts here in our facility in the galleries in Paducah, Kentucky. We also exhibit quilts digitally at Quilt Museum Digital and also at Google Arts. You can find both of these online. In addition, quilts from our collection are exhibited throughout the world in museums and at other events. The museum is also committed to the education of future quilters. We have a number of youth programs for kids all the way from kindergarten and first grade through high school. Our most well-known program is the School Block Challenge sponsored by Moda Fabric. If quilting is going to sustain and grow into the future, the most important thing is to get kids quilting now. Because as we found, once quilting becomes part of someone's life, it'll be part of their life forever. The museum is also committed to the preservation of today's quilts. The quilts being made today are important both as historically relevant artifacts and as artworks. As we're standing here, more quilts are going from their original person who made the quilt to other generations than ever before. It's critically important that every, every one of these quilts is preserved so they can be enjoyed for generations to come. The National Quilt Museum is committed to this through a number of fronts. First of all, we are setting the standard in how quilts are exhibited, shipped, stored, and handled. Secondly, we're committed to the education of everyone who has a quilt, so regardless if the quilt is in a museum or at someone's house, it's properly preserved. Thank you so much for supporting the work that we do here at the National Quilt Museum. We look forward to supporting the quilting community for years to come. Happy National Quilting Day 2021. I'm Amy Milne, Executive Director of the Quilt Alliance, and I'm greeting you today from my home office surrounded by beautiful quilts that will soon be hanging outside my home here in Cary, North Carolina. The Quilt Alliance is a national nonprofit organization devoted to documenting, preserving, sharing, and celebrating the rich stories of quilts and their makers. I encourage you to visit our website quiltalliance.org to learn more about our mission to eliminate anonymous quilts. Today on this special day uh, to celebrate quilts and quilting, I encourage you to join us uh, in this vision in two ways, labeling and sharing. First, label a quilt. This is the simplest and most important step in keeping your quilt story from fading away. Quilts often outlive their makers, and when you add a simple cotton label with basic information, you are preserving a historic document. Basic information to add to a label includes the maker's name and location, a date completed, and a title or a description. Maybe it was made for a gift, a memorial, utility, a sampler, or a statement. Quilts can't talk, but they don't have to be anonymous. Add a label to all of your quilts, even the ones you acquire from family, good fortune, or by purchasing. Any information is better than no information. And second, share a quilt. Hang some of your quilts outside of your home today if you can. Even a short display of a single quilt hung from your porch or a window can have an incredible impact on your neighbors and community calming and inspiring or messaging and mysterious. Quilts tell stories. Also consider displaying a sign with your quilt to share more of that story with, with passers, passers by. You could even use a QR code that anyone with a smartphone can scan using their camera app to bring up a website or a text message or a social media account as they're looking at your quilt or to view later on. 
We've posted a few links on the National Quilting Day website for tips on how you can make your own QR code, and we've provided a QR code for our website as well. Take photos of your quilt display and post them on social media with the hashtag National Quilting Day. The Quilt Alliance and our partners, the National Quilt Museum, will share them on our Instagram and Facebook accounts. Enjoy your day, everyone. I hope you've already started to think about what quilts you want to label and share today. We're looking forward to seeing your photos. I hope you have a great weekend. I'd like to thank Frank and Amy for joining us today and we've compiled a resource list of everything that they mentioned. If you're interested in a new quilting project to get you excited and started today, you can visit quiltmuseum.org slash block of the month and find free patterns to all the different blocks from our block of the month club program where you might learn some new skills. And you can also find our star cluster quilt along pattern from last summer if you're looking for a new project. However you choose to celebrate quilting today, we hope that you'll share it with us online and use hashtag National Quilting Day. So let's start quilting.